Currently the biggest gas pipeline project in Nigeria. Construction of the Ajaokuta Kaduna Kanu, or the AKK pipeline for short, began in June 2020, with the government saying it would help generate 3.6 gigawatts of power and support gas-based industries along the 614-kilometer route when completed. The $2.5 billion project had originally been scheduled for completion by the end of the first quarter, but delays in securing funding resulted in Nigeria's National Petroleum Corporation, NNPC, financing the project. This is a must deliver project. This project has not stopped for one day. We are continuing to fund it despite the fact that we do not have third party financing on this project. We have so far spent over $1.1 billion on this project from our cash flow. By the third quarter of this year, we'll complete the entire welding of this work. And what it means is that we can actually energize this line by the, end of, by the third quarter of this year. The AKK pipeline project is part of the larger 1,300 kilometers Trans-Nigeria gas pipeline project, which is designed to supply gas to the various regions of Nigeria and ultimately connect to the Trans-Sahara gas pipeline for exports. From the north-central city of Ajaokuta, the pipeline will connect Nigeria's capital, Abuja, and the northern town of Kaduna, before ending at a terminal gas station in Kano. This line will flow 2 billion scope of gas. And what this means is that you are delivering 2 billion gas, scope of gas every day into this line, powering industries, powering power plants, creating gas-based industries. And this is the ultimate objective. The gas pipeline is expected to boost Nigeria's electricity generation capacity by adding 3,600 megawatts of power to the national grid. It's also expected to promote increased local usage of domestic gas and drastically reduce the large volume of gas flared in the oil-rich delta region of the country. But there are security concerns over the project. As security agencies are, uh, are basically thin on the ground because of commitments to other uh, critical issues in the country, um, the ability to uh, effectively protect those pipelines will largely fall with the communities through which they, uh, they pass. So you have two elements of protection. You have the security agencies and you have the communities. And it's our hope that the communities, seeing the benefits and the impacts that this gas pipeline will bring, will take ownership and protect the pipeline because by protecting the, the pipeline, it is actually protecting their own interests. Nigeria has an abundance of gas reserves, and the country is counting on the natural resource as a transition fuel to provide electricity and cleaner energy by 2060. So as the world gradually moves away from fossil fuel, authorities are racing against time to exploit all the benefits that can derive from gas before it goes out of fashion. And that's if it ever will. DG Badimasi, CGTN, Lagos, Nigeria.